Sashana Walker, the mother of two that lives under a tarpaulin with her two children. This is a very very sad story but stay with me through this and at the end of this video I will give you a contact information so that you can assist her with any little you can give and if you can't help financially at least share this video. Sashana Walker is a resident of Olympic Gardens and she is in need of assistance. In November 2017, the 28 year old lost her home and most of her belongings in a fire. Currently, she is the mother of two who lives under a tarpaulin in her yard, the same yard where her home used to be. Her condition was first highlighted by a youth ambassador, Jazil Clark. He's the one who did the video. He uploaded the video of her living space on social media. Okay. This is the reality. People, this is the bedroom structure that we have right under the chapalin, right under the chapalin. We need help, she need help, and I want you to help me to help her so that we can change this. This is her mumpy. Yeah. She need help. Promise is not going help. nowhere, people. Bad, bad, bad. She and our children then. So after this video, the star visited Sashana Walker yesterday. The effects of last week's rain was still evident in the space that Walker places her bed. A mango tree provides shelter from the sun's rays and pieces of zinc are what separate the bed and the other pieces of furniture from the main road. Her children, ages 5 and 7, are afraid, especially at nights. Sashana said, even if I get afraid to sleep out here sometimes, I cannot show it. I have to be strong for the children and can't let them know that. There are times when they're afraid, but I just offer them comfort and let them know that everything will be okay. The other day when the rain a fall and the thunder clap and them ball out, them frighten us until them drop asleep instantly. Ma have to feel them to make sure they were okay. And people, please remember that the hurricane season started on June 1st and the National Oceanic and the Atmospheric Administration in the United States has predicted 9 to 15 named storms this Atlantic hurricane season. So Sashana needs the help as soon as possible. Sashana feels like time is running out for her to get out of harm's way. As she ponders her fate, she says the horrifying events of November 2017 are still fresh in her mind. She said, I had just finished combing my little sister's hair and go to the bathroom. When I come back out, the entire house was on fire. I start ball out for fire, but it spread so quickly. NWC did cut off the water in the yard and the community itself did have water problems so the fire did hard to contain. The neighbors tried their best to help but the house burned right down. Shortly after and with very little choice, Sashana, her mother and children moved under the tarpaulin. Her mother however went to stay with other family members in Westmoreland. She said, the other day I feel so bad when I hear say she was in the hospital and I couldn't even visit. It's not nice living under here with the children. Sometimes them catch up cold and I have to carry them to the health center or give them some bush tea. Tea is always the solution. <laughs> I love how she cares for her children. She also said that the PMP women's movement gave her some blocks but other than that is just pure promises she get and she don't let the school know that they are living in such deplorable conditions because she don't want the other children in the school to tease her kids so she just pray that she can get some help even if it is not for her but for her children they are getting big and she just want them to have a normal shot at life Janu. Anyone wishes to contact Sashana Walker you can just screenshot this right now the number is 876-556-3866 Any help is needed if you can even share this video so that someone else can see it and help too. Her children are young right now but they will get big and they can't continue to live in this condition from 2017. So thanks to Jazil for highlighting this issue and may I just play him video so that you can watch it. Alright, so basically this... This is the condition that we have here. 
in Jamaica, you know. This is the condition. Residents uh, through unfortunate uh, loss due to fire. House vanish. Absolutely. Leclerc no evidence left, you know. Um, she has been living under pain for weeks and months now. Uh, Leclerc no help so far. We have been getting promises. And there has been nothing yet, absolutely nothing. Our aim is to assist her in getting a structure up and running. For she and her children. Serious reality uh, happening here. Uh, I am calling on anyone, Jamaica, here and abroad, everywhere, to play a part in this regard. You know, this is one of our own sister from another mother somewhere in the world. In Olympic Gardens, by the way. House has been vanished due to fire. And we would definitely like to get some assistance to get a structure up and running so that her children and her can be under proper shelter and shade. This can't be very sad. A lot of us living under better condition, living even in excess where we can maybe give. A little of what we give in, and a little is enough when God is in. Every meter make a more paper. This is the reality, people. This is the bedroom structure that we have right under the chapalin. Right under the chapalin. We need help. She need help. And I want you to help me to help her so that we can change this. This is her mampi. She need help. Promise is not going nowhere, people. Bad, bad, bad. She and her children, then. Yeah, where's your daughter? She is. Your daughter. That's her son. Need some help, you know? You have anything that you want to say to anybody? need a help. We need help. And please, with a glad feet, thanks. Please and thanks. What happened exactly with the house before? It burned down. Burn down. Burn down, yes, I bear we have to stay. And you reach out to anybody already in terms of persons they help? People promise, but we're not getting the help as yet. Just promises. Just promises. Oh. Yeah. God not sleeping, you know? Yeah. And I know that people are listening and people are hearing, people are yeah. moved and will be moved by your story. Yeah. And right away, because God not sleeping, I'm going yeah. to create a way, man. You yeah. understand? God is going to pray for you, so that something can be up and running. Yeah. Rainy seasoning, season basically, is yeah. uh, rain fast rain approaching. Yeah. All right. All right, you're a monkey? Yeah. I'll keep in touch. I'm going to continue this. Yeah. Because, and I tell you, God, God, yeah, God's give up on me. Really, really, that help at Blanc, and was on November the 13th, 2017. So in a 2019, 2019 you know. yeah. so it's about two years under the chapel in here. So as the Christmas rain falling, so the place here. Oh my. I need not say no more. If I ever forget to give thanks, Ja, please remind me. You can have it all, you can lose it in just a second. These natural disasters can happen to anyone really. And this one left her a mother and her two children homeless. Now clearly she needs assistance and with you helping her getting her back on her feet, you're not just helping her to build back her house, but also she will get her job so that she can take care of her family, take care of her two children. And with her living in this condition, she can't work. Who is going to watch her kids and keep them safe? They are literally sleeping outside. And with she living in this condition, how will she afford transportation to and from work? This cannot be comfortable. This is not how a human being should be living. So I'm playing my part. You can play your part also. If it's not money, then you can just play your part by sharing this video or sharing the Jamaica Star article or sharing Jazeel's video. Just spread the message, spread awareness of 
this lady living condition and hopefully we can find everyone else living in these type of conditions and just try to assist them so yeah thanks for watching